Have y'all ever heard this comparison? It's been around for a while, but the younger generation don't get the benefit of some things that we learn from, so I'm sharing this one. I'm just gonna do it. This is Jonathan Edwards, Family Tree, and Max Jukes. Now, Jonathan Edwards was raised in a Christian home, and uh, he, had, he had 11 children. He wrote books. He was a preacher of the gospel. But he purposed to get up very early in the morning, 3.30, 4.30 in the morning, spend his time with God, write and study. And then when the children got up and began to go, he spent an hour a day with every child, getting to know them, asking them why. And knowing how, being wise and how to discipline them, how to raise them. Look at the results. Just look at that legacy. That's incredible. Jonathan Edwards had the same opportunity that others have to just do it the world's way, but he wanted to do it God's way. Max Jukes had the same opportunity, lived at the same time, but he chose the way of the alcohol the wildlife, not being home. He was an absent dad, didn't know his children, didn't understand the relationships, and certainly wasn't wise. And you see the results from his life. That's his legacy. Pretty powerful to me. I don't know about you. I can just tell you personally, I grew up in a small town. We lived on one side of the street. My uncle and his family, my dad's brother, lived on the other side of the street. All, our, all my cousins were step, uh, stair steps, same age, went to school together, went to church together, everything together. My father was an alcoholic before he was born again when I was one year old. We lost our oldest, my oldest brother, his, his son, to cancer, leukemia, and it changed his life. It rocked his world, but my father was saved and followed Christ. My mom was a godly woman, raised us in the nurture of the Lord. Across the street, the alcohol, the late nights, all the things that went on in that home, same ex uh, exterior influences, but nothing in the home. You wanna know the results? Two have died from AIDS. The two girls have had many abortions, drugs, prison. Every one of them went to prison. It goes on and on. That's the difference Christ makes in a home. There's no step-by-step -step remedy or recipe that I can give you, but I can certainly tell you that these principles from God's Word work. We're satisfied customers. <laughs> you know, we know, we believe with all our heart that if we lift up Christ and exalt Him, He'll draw our children to Him and draw our grandchildren to Him. We're going to lift Him up. I want to kind of close with this encouragement to you tonight. I think that got all the notes there. Yes, yes. Let's read this last statement on your notes there. <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't cover responding. Wisdom is responding, not reacting. Not just flying off the handle. It's responding, not reacting. A family is a clan held together with the glue of love and the cement of mutual respect. A family is shelter from the storm. A friendly port where the ways of life become, when the ways of life become too wild. No person is ever alone who is a member of a family. So whatever your family background and situation has been, Jesus can turn that around. I promise you, He can change that direction as He did with my dad. My dad came from a long line of uh, moonshiners, we call it, or people that sell illegal liquor and all the racial issues and things. And, he, and God reversed that curse. He broke that curse with my dad. And, and now we have a generation going like Jonathan Edwards has. So you have that choice, whatever point and stage you are in your life, of what is your legacy going to be? What is the future going to be?